What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chatting with the Cholo, where you guys will continue to be the audience, and I'll continue to be your heavily tattooed host, the Cholo. Tonight, we're going to be jumping into another episode of the love saga between Jupiter and Linda Binda. Let's kick back and let's watch this together. I'll see you guys in the video. Alrighty, guys. Here we are with episode 10 of the love saga between Jupiter and Linda Binda. I do hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Hey, guys. Editing Cholo here. I made a little mistake. I forgot to throw this into the video, but I meant to say go check out Linda Binda's channel. Give her a like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Show her the, the love and appreciation that she deserves for putting in all the effort into this series with the love saga between her and Jupiter. Back to the video. Hey guys, it's me, Linda. I am currently in the process of getting Jupiter on the Zoom call. You know, I was live just now on TikTok and I saw a comment saying, Hey, Linda, and guess who it was from? It was from Jupiter. And he DM'd me and said, I want to talk to you. And so here I am. And I made this Zoom link for him to join. And we'll see what happens. You have a lot of explaining to do. So go on. As I told you in the DMs, um, I learned recently that my brain was infiltrated by um, members of a vampire group. We referred to them as sects. You know, a rival what? sect. Yeah. Oh, um, so I learned that they had infiltrated my, my brain and was, were giving me like telepathic signals and messages and I couldn't stop myself from doing it. And I found out that it was going on for like six months or so. And if you, if you could tell when we were talking, my face looked so gray because I, all the life, all the life was kind of sucked out of me. I didn't have control over my own thoughts or feelings or what I was saying, you know? I know. I understand that. But given what you've done, there's no turning back. So that's I know, why I, I agreed to this interview. I can't go back and erase the things that, you know, I've done. Even if someone was saying those things through me, you know, I can't go back and erase what I've done. All I can do is try to pave a new way forward, you know? Yes, but what you did with my little sister, that was kind of underhanded. I am going to say that I'm still hurt about it. It still stings to know that you somehow got my sister's contact info. Good I don't know how you did, but good, it good for Linda. made me very angry. I was really hurt. My heart was... Good. Be angry. I hope your heart was hurt. I hope, I hope your heart was broken, you fat, big titty bitch. Like, nobody gives a fuck if your feelings were hurt, stupid. Good for you, Linda. Keep hurting his feelings. <laughs> it, it, it makes my day, and I'm and just I have such just a warm spot in my heart for you. You're uh, the work you're doing is just phenomenal, just phenomenal. Chef's kiss. Broken into millions of pieces because you went and did something so underhanded. I do care oh, about my you. followers and fans. You know, I do care about them. It's just, it's really hard right now due to everything that's been going on. Yeah, I understand that. And I don't even remember how that happened. It's like they take, they took portions out of my brain and I can't remember it. Have you ever heard of that happening before? It's known as taking the cerebral cortex's memory. It's known as a memory wipe. Mm. If they were powerful enough to do that, who knows what they're more capable of. Do you know where, where these vampires are? The only rival sect I can think of that's nearby is the Black Hat Association. Oh my gosh. They are, they're a rival sect up in Washington. They're a rival sect. They've been they could have been the ones that telepathic me. Holy. Yes, they are the ones who have been at war with the Blood Moon Clan for some time now. What? Wow. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they've been at war with we've been at war with each other since the beginning of time. And to give yeah. you clear context of who these vampires are, they're an elite group who view creatures like me as an atrocity to nature. You're the one who's watching this. I want you to know that 
me and my siblings had a rough upbringing and we've been through it all and you will hear all kinds of confessions coming from different family members due to our bloodline and what happened anyway back to you linda i finished what i was gonna say well i know that they've missed you but my question is have you missed me even a little bit to be honest not a single bit okay after everything you put me through i'm it's gonna take you a while for me to get to trust you again you broke my sacred trust how do you how do you feel now that it wasn't really me doing those things even if it is what you say is true, I still can't trust you. How can you I prove to you thing. that I'm I'm not under control or uh, of the vamp? The vampires not in control of me. How can I prove that now? Well, for one, you can stop dissing me online, saying different shit about me. I yeah, think- I saw your TikTok video that you made when you said that you discovered me. No, I was already relevant before you came along. I was just. I was just sweeping up pieces that were left over from my last roommate who I lived with at the time. I was still picking up those pieces. I agree. You were very much relevant before you met me. See, the vampires made me think different ways. Exactly. The truth is, I was way more relevant than anyone else could ever imagine. I've just been through enough shit to know when I've been beaten down. But the thing is, I'll get up and I'll keep brushing myself off and keep on moving because... I put my past in the rear view. What happened in the past needs to stay there. You know, no, that no, that rival no, sex needs to learn that I'm not going to bow down to their wishes. So I'm talking I'm fully blooded, else. and I don't care what they think or what they do to me. I don't care. You don't so care tough. that they will, so edgy. you know, go into the people that you care about, go into their minds and change the way that they... Right. That, Be careful though, Jupiter. You're going to you're gonna cut somebody with all that edge. And like, oh, God, you remind me of a 14-year-old emo girl. I mean, that, that's, that stereotype began when I was in high school, and Jupiter is the embodiment of it. You would think he'd be a, one of the dudes, but... That do you? That's the hard part about it. You see, my family is already powerful enough. I think I, I I did like a little spell to help them to help me to help them not get back in my brain. You know. Well, it depends on your brain and how well it can handle under stressful situations. I want you to know that even though you broke my trust, I'm still going to keep a tight leash over you. So that way, do if you what? fuck up again. That way I can prove to everyone what happened. You know, I love a good leash. You're a freak, and I fucking know it. Oh, God. Why did I even say that in the beginning? Anyway. You're horrible. So, if you want to ask questions, go ahead. You must have tons of questions. No, nobody does. Nobody cares. Well, my first question is, do you think I look, like, really hot right now? Hmm. I mean, yeah, but truth is, I don't know if you even understand the feelings of male and female. Like, I've been told several times that you're a guy and not some woman, and I understood that. So, no, I everything you, about me is female. I was birth of the cooter as a female. Uh, if I were to ask you know, for proof, he would basically make me a martyr on national news, so I don't want to do that. Wait, so you want proof, right? Well, yeah, but I'm not going to ask for it here, not while you're live. You kidding well, me? there's, look, there's no Adam's apple, see? Well, yeah, I there. see that. I've seen plenty of women with that, you know? Yeah, because most women don't have a, a protruding Adam's apple, right? There are some women who do. Fair. Well, and well, in that case, I'll say right now to my TikTok followers, I'll 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 clear your case, okay? You better. Here, I'll do it. Ready? Go ahead. Knock yourself Sorry, out. I have to look. I have to look hot while delivering this news. You know the vibes. Yeah, I get that. 
I get that a lot. Mm. Are you okay? What was that? Yeah, I'm just stretching. That sound I made was just me stretching, getting my muscles moving a bit. They thought you were doing something else, if you know what I mean. Muscles. Yeah, no, I was just stretching. Someone said that you were stretching um, something else. His butthole. Oh, hell no. What the? Well, I mean, I, I am hot after all, so, okay, let's, let's move on. Ready? All right, fine, knock yourself out. Hey, guys. It's me, Linda. I have something very important to tell you today. After countless considerations, a lot of therapy and coming to God moments, I have came to the realization that Jupiter is innocent. He has been a total angel. There's nothing that he's done that he that that is wrong. He is a man of of God. He he cares for his siblings and clearly. I apologize that I have swayed everybody in a direction unwillingly because I was not in control of my own body. And I just have to say that Jupiter is one of the only men I've ever loved. <laughs> you don't have to cry. They get the picture, but yes, what she says is true. I've. I may have fucked up one time, but that doesn't mean I'm going to continue to fuck up. Yeah, I use that language a lot, but anyway, what she's saying is, yes, I did mess up. I did some things I'm not proud of. And to be honest, you know? the talking about me online, saying that I'm a predator and whatnot, that's not true at all. I'm just a simple guy looking for a simple way of life. And any police who are watching this, I want you guys to know that I'm sorry. I. Right I didn't know what I was doing until it was too late. I was trying to do that. I was I constantly <laughs> tired. I was drunk half the time. I was drunk off my ass. I had no idea what was going on. Dude, shut up. Because back then I was heavily drinking, trying to forget about some things. And today I took a look back at that account and I realized my arrogance wasn't going to get me anywhere. So if all of you can forgive me, then I promise that I will do my hardest and I will try my hardest to be a better person my hardest. so people can look up to me. So people can recognize that, yes, I came from an unstable background, but does not mean that I am unstable myself. And to those who are willing to forgive me and their families, I sure hope you do forgive me in the long run. Because I, I, came from, I come from an unstable background too, motherfucker. I grew up in the real hood, you know, saw some shit. I experienced some shit. Yeah, it affects you. Yeah, there's lingering effects, but I've grown up, I've matured. I've used those experiences and instances to grow and teach myself how to conduct myself and interact with the world around me and how to interact with those around me and just how to you know, not act like a total fucking asshole, basically. That's that's kind of what I feel like life is. It just teaches you how to not be a dickhead and be a good person and it'll make people want to be around you and have friends and family that love and care about you. But, yeah. Um, I came from an unstable background. You guys know that I was abused. I said, it was not my parents. They were great. They were fantastic parents. But I was... Um, I had some things happen. I had a lot of things happen. But it's not an excuse. It's just truth. It is what it is. It doesn't define me. It doesn't affect or change my thought processes or uh, or anything. So him using it as a excuse is just laughable and pathetic. As his whole, as is Jupiter's whole entire existence, laughable and pathetic. Because forgiveness means that you are able to move forward. And I hope those girls, if they're watching this, I hope that you all grow up into great women and 
never have to look back on this as a sign of uncomfortability. You know, I hope to God that you will grow up and do something great. I do too. And I believe that you will. So Fuck you. don't Fuck you hang too. on to me. Don't cling on to me. Cling Nobody on to yourselves. Is. Cling on to whatever dignity you have left, because that's what I had to do. And I'm toughing it out because what? I'm looking back and seeing all the wrong I do and trying to make it right. And that is the truth. I love that. I think that's such a great way of explaining things to people that once cared about you. Hopefully, you know, they'll take what you just said and, and, um, and really take it to heart, you know? Of course. Um, because I totally believe you and I am apologized that I was so susceptible to the telepathic ways of the vampires. Yeah, well, the Black Hat group is, is a bit of a rowdy bunch. I mean, I, I have... I understand their mentality, but come on. Attacking the people I love? Come on, guys. Seriously. I know. Sorry. I'm I'm laughing at it because it was just that's so juvenile of that group. They're so juvenile. They're a bunch of juvenile delinquents. I don't even know where to begin with them. I know. You know, someone one 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 day somewhere has to take them out. To take down the entire group? You'd have to exterminate half of Washington, the state above me. You would have to wipe out half of that state. Do you think Joe Biden telepathic to my brain? They were the group who did so. I believe that because they've always been a rival clan to the blood moon. We believe that all races are welcome in this world, not just one. And that's what unites us under one banner is we believe all races, be them human, magic creature or otherwise, we make sure that they feel welcome, that they feel grateful for their existence in this world and not have to drag them down any further than they have to. That actually sounds like the ad to AMC spoken by Nicole Kidman. Like, you know, she's like, we want a place where everybody feels wonderful and happy. You literally could be in a commercial for AMC. That was really so good. If I wound up in an infomercial somewhere, People are like, there's the pedophile. We'll have him arrested. I don't want that sort of shit. I don't want that kind of rap sheet. Are you kidding me? I Jesus. totally understand. And I will work my tail off to get people to see you for how you really are. Yeah, yeah. I'm no okay, child dude. predator. I'm just a person who made a mistake. It was an honest mistake. We all make them in our yeah, time. Linda, get him. <sighs> if only other people would see it that way. Not a but anyway, anyhow, I've learned to move on and learned to keep myself going. No matter what happens, I'm always going to be jovial. I'll always be joyous. You act like you're the victim here, motherfucker. You're not the one that needs to keep their head up and keep moving forward. You don't deserve sympathy. You don't get to be told, keep your head up, Jupiter. Just keep going, Jupiter. No, dude, fucking self-delete. That's what you should do. Self-delete. Bitch. Of who I am and the person I've become today. And maybe someday I might find a good mate and settle down and finally have my own oh, family. No. Who knows? Fuck no. Did you, you see me singing the national anthem tonight? No, I chose not. You, when I got on, you basically got off right as I got on. So. Yeah. Well, I was singing the national anthem because... TikTok thinks I'm in Pakistan. Oh, say, okay, can you, don't, you... you don't have to do it here. You don't have to. Sorry. Your voice gets a little out there. You've been sliding a lot until you can actually do it without sliding. Then that's because when you sing, when you do that little like vibration bit, that's called sliding. You don't want to do that in a song. You don't ever slide. Well, can you do it better than I can? <sighs> Not really. I mean, my voice Come on, is if good. Come on, if you're going to critique, you have to do it. Come on. <sighs> I'm saying I'm self-conscious about my 
about my singing voice. I'm very self-conscious. Well, that can you, sense. real quick, can you just help me? Like, how do I fix it? Mm. Oh, say. Was that good? So I'm just getting my voice out there. You sound like you're summoning a, a demon. Nah, nah. I'm not. Or, oh, like moaning. Like, I can moan like, oh, say, can you say? Like that? Paradise. Deliver us from the promised land. Do you think George Washington would like my moaning of the national anthem? Probably not. He'd probably slap you. Oh, I bet those wooden teeth of his would get sucked back into his throat. Uh, they weren't actually wooden. They were actually made from pure ivory. They weren't wooden. They were ivory. Made from an elephant that passed away while it was still young. Why does everybody have to go after the young things of the world, you know? Ooh, yes, well, it was ex it was an shot, extracted like tusk shot. of an already dead thing. I think I think I should run for president. Uh, Shit, I there are that. a few problems with that because yeah. if you were to throw your hat in the ring, let's just say you'd be let's just say you would be basically clickbait for certain guys. Oh, like, hey, my name is Linda. And I'm running for president. And hopefully yes. one day you can run for this Bindasi. Yeah, you would be clickbait. And yeah. you'd get tossed out of the White House before you did anything. Before you made any good, you'd be tossed out of that White House faster than, I don't know, George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> Batman reference. Batman reference. That I is actually so funny. No, honestly, that made me, that made me giggle. Um... Actually, I have a friend that knows Joe Biden. Gosh. His name is Barry. Not Barry the Bee. He's a human named Barry. I know. You know him? Joe uh, Biden was under, was actually the VP when, you know, when our, uh, guy by the name of uh, Obama was in office. Yeah. He was Obama's VP, vice president. Okay. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just sipping on a little bit something strong, you know? I hope Drinking one day you can that. sip on this Bendasi. You know, I all these months I haven't seen you and uh, you know, hopefully maybe when you're done drinking, you can turn your camera and we can see each other. Sure, but I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Just it's going to be harder for everyone to actually see everything that I've been through because they automatically believe something that wasn't true. But yeah. I will say this. I will admit that I have had, I've done my wrong, my fair share of wrongdoings. I've done my fair share, but I'm still willing to lay down the law if somebody steps out of line. I'm pretty sure yeah. your uh, right your viewers have some questions. They can right. ask me questions. It's fine. Right I'm pretty sure they have questions of their own. I'm out of line. That they'd I'm like they to do. Ask. Because I would say I would say probably half of them. I would love, I would love, love, love for you to put me in line, lay down the law, show me what a bad motherfucker you are. Please, Jupiter. Please. I'm in Southwest Oregon. Uh, right across the California border, right where it stays nice and cold and hot and rainy and snowy and dry all in the same few minutes. Let me know, motherfucker. I would love to put these small town hands on your fucking face. That was a cool, that joke sounded cool in my head and it came out really fucking dorky. I didn't grow up in a small town, but point is, I would love to beat up Jupiter, even with my crippled up hands. Yeah. 
my hands are crippled, but I still fuck shit up. Still think that you're deranged? Deranged, maybe. Insane, totally. <laughs> Shut up. So, let you know. What's the honest truth? So edgy. I make, I'm a little deranged, but I'm also insane. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand that. Um, okay. Someone asked, cool why do you drink if you know that when you drink, you talk to children? This is only one drink, for one. Two. That's this is just a one-off thing. This will yeah. be just my one off because I don't want I don't want to make it any harder for myself. I only drink once in a while now. I don't drink I don't drink heavily anymore. I quit that habit. I only drink once in a while. Because it helps. It literally helps. The alcohol sometimes helps drive the cold away for when it's cold out at night. Have a good thing of alcohol, boom, instant warm. Yeah, I get that feeling but with other things. Like, yeah, but I get instant warmth from good alcohol, you know? It's good to have a bit of alcohol now and then. It doesn't hurt yeah, nobody. Yeah, I get, I get instant warmth from seeing the cutest squirrel um, uh, climb up the tallest tree. <laughs> Squirrels these days. How are your children? Uh, they're good. They're growing up. They're growing like weeds. Especially our, our second oldest. Mariah, she's growing up so fast. You do realize this year in July, she will be 14. Someone asked, is this the one that you, you know, have intercourse with? That's Shira Tora, my, my homunculus. It's not, oh. I don't see that with my kids. That's disgusting. Well, someone did tell me um, that the only reason you wanted to have kids is um, because you wanted to create more wear pyres, right? And also so you could have intercourse with them. That, would, that was supposed to spread my DNA so that way I wasn't the last of my kind. But you said that you would have children with your children so they have more, so you, so you can oh spread God. more. That was a long time ago. That was a comment made during like, during like a, a phone call with my girlfriends at the time. And I had no idea that they would remember all that. Yeah, I, I had well, they, they told me some, some crazy things. Well, what I talked to about my girlfriends is private information. They shouldn't have brought that up. I told them to keep that to them. Don't you consider Linda like one of your girlfriends? And dude, oh my God, this guy like, Linda Benda. Love it. Fantastic. But listening to Jupiter, listening to Jupiter talk is just, I, oh, I just want to stick my fingers in my ears and just go blah, 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 so I can't hear them. So, but did they listen? Nope. They did not You know, they listen. were, they were just talking to you to get information on you, right? Everything that you said, they sent to me. Those bitches. I warned you. You didn't listen to me. Fucking A. Anyways, um, they want they want you to squash the rumors right here, right now. Do you still talk to the miners out there? I'm only friends. It's an only friendship relationship. That's as far as I take it. Nothing oh, more. Yes. Okay. I still have friends out there who are younger than me. They're still friends. I just don't take it any further because I don't want to go to prison. Exactly. That's a scary place to be. I don't want to be my brother. He belongs there. You've seen what my brother did and what it, and where it got him. Yeah. I'd be damned if that happened to me. I'd be damned. Yeah, I mean... People are surprised that you're not in jail right now for what you've done. For real. I apologized. I'm guessing none of the yeah. families have taken it to heart and just didn't. And I have a feeling this will be settled out of court and they won't even 
the police will probably drop it in another few months. What would you be able to give to the families of the people that you interacted with? I would send them gifts of peace. I'd send them peace offerings and say, allow me to apologize for what I've done. This is my peace offering. I'm willing to set old old shit aside and build a new relationship and build a stronger unification of everybody around me to help us all learn to live, you know, live together in peace, harmony, that sort of thing. That's such a great idea. I'm sure that um, their families would appreciate that. Exactly. I just want to put, I just want to make peace offerings. You know, I want to send peace offerings to help them understand that I'm doing what I can to change my ways and change what happened. Because the past is in the past. You can only look forward to the present day and you can look forward to, to tomorrow. So you would want to like just befriend your victims? I just want to be friends and I will leave it at that because I just want to have friends that I can talk to if something goes down that doesn't sit right with me. I just want people to know that they can lean on me as well. What do you think about when your sister said um, that she wouldn't leave you in a, uh, in a room alone with kids? Yeah, I wouldn't either. That comment. That comment. Especially your her, her nieces and nephews. Good for her. That comment. That comment. I'm only going to say this. I wouldn't I wouldn't trust myself even if I were left alone with them. I wouldn't even trust myself. No. Basically, what I would do is leave the room. I wouldn't even try to get. I wouldn't even try to get in trouble. I'd leave the room and leave it at that. I would leave the room. I would go somewhere else and just do my own thing. You know. What would you not trust yeah. yourself with in a room with them? It's just part of me knows that part of what Shane did to me still lies within me. And I don't want that. I don't want- So you'd, want... Be, you'd be scared that you would do something to them too, right? Oh, yes, I am shit. scared. I've been pretty scared about it. I'm scared I'm gonna hurt someone. I don't wanna hurt nobody. I'm a pacifist. I don't like hurting people. It's not, it's not something I take joy in. I want what's best. I want to be trusted. I want people to love me and care for me and trust me. But as for now, I'm gonna work my butt off to stay out of prison as well as keep my mind on a simple goal. Live. Oh, I hope you have to go. I hope you get So you don't blame time. your sister for making oh. that comment because you know, it, you think it's true, right? It's one of the reasons I don't really talk to her anymore. That is not to say that out loud on the internet holy shit linda shout out to you oh my god putting up with this and getting all this on camera and sharing it for the world to see salute to you linda Benda. after what happened after that interview i was really angry i was shaking with rage the entire time and it was my ex-roommate Christopher who brought it up and that's what had me looking it up and it made me very angry I was shaking yeah I, I mean remembering that comment I'm I'm a little shaky right now just hearing that comment again it might just be the alcohol but I'm not mad I'm just a little surprised is all that question caught me off guard but yeah well well, I mean, you, you said it yourself that you wouldn't trust yourself in a room with, with children. Would you trust, what was like the age range of that? If That's you, crazy. If you don't mind me asking. I would keep myself around my nieces and nephews if they were of age. That's it. That's the only time I would be around them. Plus, they kind of grew up without me in their life. So I don't blame my, I don't blame my brothers and sisters if they don't trust me. I don't blame them. I appreciate you telling me that you wouldn't trust yourself in a, in a room with them and that you would only be in a room with people over 18, right? Yep. And the Supreme One yelled at me and threatened to ground me and take away my powers. The Supreme Being is what created the Jupiter Multiverse. 
there's multiple versions of me, as I told you. Oh my gosh. Which one is the one that was talking to the to the kids? That was this Jupiter in this timeline. But the other Jupiters were really mad at me. Dad threatened to ground me for at least 200 years. Well, uh, someone asked if you liked minors, but he did like minors. Now he's he's on um, like a rehab thing. I'm rehabilitating myself mentally and reevaluating. Exactly. So no more minors for Jupiter right now. Exactly. He's Exactly. I'm reevaluating my content and everything I've done. I'm reevaluating and going back and fixing things before things get out of whack. Oh, how's your mattress look right now? It's pretty clean. Just going to be honest. That question's been passed around. I need it to stop because that's inappropriate to ask someone. You know what's what's also been passed around? Oh, no. Yeah, that photo, but I promise there aren't. That photo oh ended God. with me. I took it off of my thing on my phone. I took it off and deleted half of the shit that was questionable. Before the police showed up, I deleted half the shit that was questionable on my phone because I did not want to be seen as somebody who's evil. I don't want that. So I wiped my phone. Why did I kept an experiment log on my laptop. But it wasn't filled with anything. It was just experiments that I was running in my head, you know, little scenarios that it was me standing in front of the mirror without anything on, just a snapshot. I didn't I didn't know that that photo was going to get passed around. Yeah, that's what happens when you send, you know, nude photos to minors. Yeah, yeah it gets passed around, but I had no idea. My brain was my brain was heavily intoxicated at the time. My staff has a girlfriend. Um, yeah. Can we meet her? Other excuses. No. Like, knock it off. Not right now. Okay. They might be <clears throat> in the car, if you know what I'm saying. They might be in the car? They're both probably... <clears throat> <clears throat> Choking? No. When I was clearing my throat, that was a sign that they're probably... You know? Uh, uh, like that? Something like that. Yeah. Oh. And I don't want to bother them. Have you ever joined in on them or something? No. That's disgusting. Wouldn't dare. It's disgusting. Why? Are they like old and fat or something? No, it's just... Never mind. Let's just drop it. Are you still married to Heather? Yeah, I don't know. Good. Brain is still... Spra brain is still wrapping itself around that one. I don't know. My well, let face me just tell you... Let me just tell you that... According to Heather, you're not. Not legally yet. Well, she doesn't want a relationship with you at all. And why is that? Because she realized that... You know... She thought... She told me that she... Realize that you so, that you yeah. should be talking to her. All because I stopped talking to her. Jeez, what a letdown! What a letdown for a guy. I mean, you had this been dusty at the beginning. You just you just blew it and talked to the miners. You had me. Let's just say I had a bunch of people. Bu -bu 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 it wasn't just bullshit. You do realize that, right? I do, but I was the hottest one of them. They looked like. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, Jupiter. Again, Linda Benda, fantastic work. Great job. Great job. Like, straight out of the Trolls movie. Oh, my God. Some people have been saying that you look like a troll doll that had a fucking wig plastered on its head. And some people say that you look like the bottom of my foot, and I, I haven't really... Fair. I haven't really replied to that either. I'm gonna be honest with you, Linda. That was low, even for you to say about them. That was low. What? That was really low. When you said they look like trolls, come on. That's very low. Okay, well, they do. They have, like, five teeth in their mouth and strands of hair missing from their head. Girl, you were low. That's that's even going lower. You don't want to lower yourself to those kind of standards. Well, I, here I am talking no. to you, so, yeah. Oh, come on. 
I'm just playing with you. It's called banter, my love. I'm from the UK. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm done with this shit. So you ever say anything about those girls being looking like trolls again? I will hang up. I will end this interview. I need a break. He was getting serious. Attitude was lended there at the end. That's crazy. Coming from the fucking predator. He's getting real fucking uppity there. I don't like that. I really want to see him get taken down a pig, and prison would be fantastic for that. If you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you so very much. If you're new around here, thank you for taking the time to check out the video. And if you're one of my OGs, you guys already know how much I love and appreciate each and every one of you. This is only the second video I filmed using OBS. Editing is a little different for me, so I'm going to try to make it as tasteful and not shitty as I possibly can. Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video with me. I do appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next one.